I am Yukan. Kalia. Svetlana. Yahya. Anastasia. Davide. Oleg. Lena. Igor. Kun. Isam. Nathalie. Makasarishvili. Milch. Safa. Aha. The history of the traveling seminar started three years ago with the seminars in Russia. We were traveling on boat and learning about EDS. We were, we were looking for something different and especially a learning process and the way we present the seminar to our beneficiaries. This year we are in Ukraine and we travel by train learning about EDS. The seminar is an invitation to join a journey. Life is an adventure which can be created together. We would like participants to build projects, Erasmus Plus, specifically EVS projects. And secondly, we would like to make sure participants learn about Ukraine, learn how the EVS reality in Ukraine looks like, and they realize that cooperation in Ukraine is very much possible even though the situation is difficult this year. I think it's a really open-minded country and really hospitalary country. There is peace. Come people here. <laughs> I changed my mind about Ukraine. I didn't know Ukraine well before, and it was very good travel by train and meet local people and talk about uh, the local situation and the political situation of Ukraine. The meaning of EVS is not only on the paper, it is uh, in use and uh, we are hosting EVS volunteers and volunteers are going to Europe. I believe Ukraine is a lesson it's an inspiration for us to remember that a country is done by their citizens and that we should take in our hands how we would like to live. EVS is creating the possibility to move around and to connect to other people with a learning dimension as the context to grow and to develop, to thrive. When you're volunteering, so you can learn about the culture of other country, uh, you can learn the way how the things in other country works. The European Volunteer Service is important for young persons because especially young persons need uh, experience for their life. I think EVS is an important tool for the European community to get more integrated. Yes. European Voluntary Service is very much important in uh, personal and professional development of a person. I learned more about EVS as my organization has little experience in this field. I think it's better to speak about mobility when you are on a, on a trip. and meet a lot of people, organizations, and also see a lot of the country. As usual, we are doing it by Facebook, by internet, those people which I don't even met before. But now I learned that it's more easy to communicate, to establish relationship, a working relationship for sure, between, between partner face to face. If there is not this time of um, relaxation, speaking with friends, etc., it could be difficult sometimes if you don't have this little space of freedom in the night train. After that, to try to make partnerships, you know, because I need to know someone before to create a partnership. I made very good contacts and also uh, developed the ideas for new projects. 
we made contact with other NGOs and other EBS contact point. Uh, so we developed some project between us. So we draw future plan together. <laughs> so now it's the idea to exchange the inspiration. I wanted to meet uh, Ukrainian organization also to understand how they work and uh, not only Ukrainian but Eastern organization. You can find um, a lot of partners and uh, you can meet in person with a lot of people which uh, you can later use for the projects. I start to build partnership with G4 and organization from Europe and I think it will be a great opportunity and a great project will be. ISO City make partnership with Russia, Georgia and Ukraine. It was my goal. So. I managed to build partnership with uh, Spain and the Armenian guy. My backpack is full of new friends and maybe partnerships as well. So now let's make partnership. We work with youth and children. Mission is to assist in the development of youth initiatives. We are working with youth, young and unemployed people. We invite EVS volunteers from Europe. I am representing Turkish Red Crescent Izmir branch. Restoration of the monastery. Job shadowing, protection of animals. I'm from Chernivtsi, Ukraine. Non-formal education. Family, child, uh, disability. A film organization that works with the European network. Culture events from Chernivtsi people. You can see the poster over there. In my organization is very big young group. Research of uh, caves. I represent here Bulvinian Agency for Regional Development. We want positive changes in our society. I'm very happy to hear with you. I hope we'll find some new partners. Join us and let's make the world better together. pushed into this strange surrounding makes us to get closer to each other faster than usual. The best for me in this uh, seminar was uh, informal education in the train. If you use the word of adventure, uh, it must be adventure. Your Ukrainian performance, it was the best for me. This way of uh, having the training is very efficient. You uh, learn and meet and uh, communicate a lot with people. This kind of traveling seminar I think is a really good idea because as I said you get to know the locals and you get to know the country much better than like staying in a hotel for a week and of course you work but then you get to know the reality of the country that you travel into. It was one really great experience which uh, motivates me a lot uh, for the future job. This kind of seminar is getting people more closely to each other than one room. Changement of the place and the movement give to people emotional connection with each other and emotional connection with uh, locals and the people they meet. And they're really uh, more uh, involved and so efficient at the end of the project. The train adventure is for me an open invitation. And the question, would you like to join? Beautiful, amazing adventure. Non-formal seminar. Great trip. Meeting people. Moving and friends. Fun and productive. Life-changing experience. Efficient and creative. Freedom creation. Uh, unity, hope, active informative learning. One more time. Partnership and friendship. Motivated and uh, enjoyable. 
uh, motivation, interest, useful, <laughs> friendly and productive. <laughs>